Hi guys, I'm John Davis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Aweber email autoresponder to Elementor Pro, which is a WordPress page builder. So why would you need to do that? If you're creating a subscription form or any form in particular on your WordPress blog and you want it so that people can put their email address in, hit subscribe and it connects them up into your, your autoresponder. So I use Aweber as my email autoresponder. Now, all that basically means is if someone is subscribed and puts their email address in, then that email address goes into my system. And you can capture other details if you want. You can capture the name, whatever details you want. That goes into my autoresponder. From that autoresponder, I'll have a sequence of emails that go out. So usually to introduce myself, to get people familiar with myself, to build trust, and maybe send deals out, send value out. So especially if you're an affiliate marketer or you've got your own products, it's a great way to build trust. So one way that I do it is called a soap opera sequence. If you're not sure what that is, I would highly recommend you buy Russell Brunson's books, Dot Com Secrets and Expert Secrets. And it basically goes into that, how you, how you get your character across, how you tell your story, that kind of thing. And these soap opera sequences are a great way of doing that. So the reason I use an email autoresponder is for a couple of reasons. One is to build trust so that I can send them a few emails, give them value, tell them about me, who I am, what I want to do and how I can help them. And then secondly, to maybe deliver like a lead magnet. So it could be that you want people to subscribe and that you're going to entice them in with a free cheat sheet, a free ebook, a mini course, whatever it is that you want people to, to come and grab. I use an email autoresponder for that. So you put the details on there, I'm going to give you this, and then within your email sequence you can say, thank you for subscribing, I'm going to send you a few emails to tell you a little bit more about myself, but here's the freebie that you wanted. And then maybe just link them to a file that you've got on Google Drive or something like that. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably got a good idea of what you want that, that connection for. Um, it's quite a specific video, so I'll, I'll stop waffling, I'll jump straight into it. I'm going to show you how to connect Aweber to Elementor Pro. Right guys, so what I'm going to show you now is how to connect Aweber with Elementor Pro. There are ways you can do this with Aweber itself. I think you can download like some HTML code or there's various different ways it's supposed to integrate with Elementor. I could not get any of them to work. That doesn't mean it doesn't work, that just means that I couldn't get them to work. So what I did was I found an alternative way. I installed this plugin here, Mail Optin Lite. Now, it's a light version, so there are limitations. I think it's limited to the amount of campaigns that you want to connect it to. And I think it's also limited to the number of subscribers per month. I'm pretty sure it's 500 subscribers per month, which is a nice problem to have. When you reach that point, or when I reach that point, I will then be going and upgrading to the full version, which we'll look at the pricing, mailoptin.io. It's $79 per year for the standard for one site or $179 per year for three. Now, I would like to think if I was getting 500 subscribers a month, I would be in a position where I'd be monetizing that site through affiliate marketing or info products, and that would be quite an easy, uh, easy, easy build to kind of overcome that. First of all, I'll show you the integration. So in here, you go into mail opt-in and there's various different things, settings, integrations. The only thing you really need to do when you set it up is integrate it. So I'm already connected to Aweber there, but if I just show you as an example, all it does is this. So this is active campaign. You basically, you click on this button and it'll take you to your email autoresponder. So in, in this case, I'm using Aweber and it'll log you in and it'll give you the API keys so you just save them basically and that's then approving your site to, to use Aweber through the API so that's fine once we've done that I've just created this new page and what I'm going to do is just create a new form so let's pretend this is a form that's uh, it's basically just going to be out of the box but I'm not putting any any design around it but let's just say at the top of that I've put a little image that's of like an ebook maybe a little mock-up and I've got some text there that says download this ebook for your free 100 ways to make money blogging that kind of thing and name and email and message I mean you could probably I wouldn't ever have message on there and to be honest if you want the path of least resistance I'd probably maybe even drop the name off it depends really it depends if you like to personalize your autoresponder email sequence leave the name on if not just drop that off um, so what we do the first, first thing we need to do to connect Aweber and Elementor Pro now is basically this actions after submit. So we're saying they put the details in, then they press send. 
in here, we then want to tell it under add action to use mail opt-in. As soon as we do that, we get a little mail opt-in box down here. Mail opt-in box, it looks at that integration we set up before. And there, it just confirms there as well, actually. Upgrade to premium. Upgrade to premium to support custom fields data besides name and email and remove the 500 subscribers per month limit. So we select our email service. I've only got Aweber connected. And then select email list. And we just we just add whichever email. I've got, I've got different ones in there for different products that I promote. So you just connect that up then to your autoresponder sequence that you've created in Aweber. And that's it. Publish that and, you've, and you're done. That is how I use Aweber with Elementor Pro. Like I say, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to do it from Aweber, but it does not work for me. And I didn't like the, uh, the other plugin options that I could find. So mail opt-in is a pretty good way of doing that. It's a, it's, a, it's a decent plugin that's uh, well updated and maintained and it's pretty, I say 500 subscribers a month is pretty good for a light version. Like I say, I would pay for the annual cost of that once I'm at that point. But for now, that's what I use to connect Aweber to Elementor Pro. So I hope that was of some use to someone. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about digital marketing, creating blogs, creating YouTube channels, monetizing them through affiliate marketing, then just subscribe to my channel and keep your eyes peeled for the next video. Thanks for watching.